It's nice to sit here and just watch the world go by. Hello good people and welcome back to the channel. I'm back in the village of Lye, just on the su South Surrey, just on the sort of East Sussex border, very near, four miles from Gatwick Airport, hence you might hear planes going over. Um, and you're saying to yourself, well Mark, if you're a long-term viewer, you've done a video from Lye before, about three years ago. This is true, this is true. But um, I've come back here, I'm coming out really for a catch-up, a pub lunch at the Plough, which I'm looking forward to. And here I am at St Bartholomew's Church, um, which is very ancient. Lie of the settlement goes back to the 11th century, um, and it's a beautiful old church. It's a 15th century church, but it's very, very likely that there are parts that are much older. Made of good old Horsham stone, good old reliable Horsham stone. It is very. Very unique. This great oak by the Lich Gates must be 500 years old. Well, we've got horse chestnut in our back garden, which is 300 years old. It's only 200 out. Oh, so many lorries going past, really noisy. <laughs> Stop now. I love this porch, it's quite an unusual porch. I said this in the last video, which I will link below. Lie is really interesting because it has two sections. There's here and there's North Lie. It's not called North Lie, but there's another section with another pub. Is it six bells or seven bells? Or seven stars, sorry, six, seven stars. Uh, and we've got the plough here. Here comes another. There must be some field work going on. So, so many lorries coming through at the moment. Um, spoils the Atmos, doesn't it? Spoils the Atmos, but the church appears to be open, so we go and have a look inside. Well, I'm glad it's open. I can't find any lights here, but I've said before this camera is very good in low light, so it should be fine. St. Bartholomew's in Lye. Hatchment up there. And another one. Yeah, the original timber in the roof was replaced in 1855, so it does look much newer. I 
don't know if you can hear that buzzing. There's a fly trapped in here. Poor sod. I love these things. Sorry, it's very dark. I wish I could find the light switch. Um, the rectors of lie were appropriated in the year 1262 to the prior and canons of Newark. Um, so, yeah, we're going back to here. John Rye, 1567, uh, 1987. So, obviously, he probably updated it. But yeah. God, we're very lucky to have such a long history. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. I've always liked lie. Always liked lie. My friend Steve lives here. We've done walk around the um, North Downs, using this as a starting point. Yeah, I, don't, I'm, I probably sound like I'm repeat, repeating myself a little bit, but I also want to just update you on upcoming trips and things like that. You, you loyal audience, you. Um, yeah, can hear him. Poor, poor guy. He's stuck in here. Yes, I remember this. There's this little dark path that goes down to uh, a field. So let's, let's just pop down there. Day. I think it's about 22 degrees today. Very little wind. Quick walk down here, just into the next field. Um, I'm soaking some nature. And thank you, Gatwick Airport, again. See you in September um, and update you on a few things. Way. I don't know if on the camera my the skin around my eye looks a bit weird. It puffed up the other day, um, and I'm not allergic to anything. I don't suffer from hay fever. Um, it just puffed up. And it's got. It went down in like 24 hours. So I think either I've been stung by something. I don't recall that, or I do suffer from hay fever. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it's fine now. I wasn't sneezing or anything. You know. Um, oh, that fresh smell of cow dung. Rather nice, but lovely, lovely big field here. A 
So, just so once again, a big thanks to everybody who's seen, hopefully seen the video uh, from the Bathing Stoke Comic Con where we were guests. Oh, great weekend, one of the best weekends we've ever had actually. Absolutely incredible with the um, Dark Huntress, the 1967 Chevrolet Impala for all you supernatural fans out there. Still never seen it. Um, but upcoming, I think I've mentioned before, I've got a road trip down to, well, it's not really a road trip, it's only an hour and a half away, but a road trip down to Winchester, which I have been to before with the late Alan Barnett. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is, I'm calling it a road trip because on the A31 road down to Winchester, uh, I'm going to be going to a lot of a few old churches. I'm going to the village of uh, Jane Austen's house. I'm not going in Jane Austen's house because it's actually shut the day I'm going and I'm not particularly a Jane Austen fan. I know some of you people are, but I will talk about it anyway. And there's a couple of old churches I've seen on the way which look really interesting and a village and a little folly. So we're doing that on the way down. A day in Winchester, Winchester Cathedral, um, all those kind of grand places, the Great Hall with the, uh, with, with the round table. Uh, I don't know how well that looks on the camera. Um, then on the way back, maybe a couple of old churches and um, King John's Castle, an old uh, medieval keep up in Ol uh, uh, Oldham, I think it is. Not far from Bayes in Stoke. So yeah, some trips coming up, um, which should be exciting. Oh, what a lovely day. Getting that vitamin D. I think I got too much vitamin D over that bathing stoke weekend because I really was quite red. Uh, <laughs> oh well, we were outside all the time. And back out into the uh, churchyard. Yeah, still a lot of farm tractors and that, making a lot of noise, but hey, we need farming, don't we? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be filming outside when it's bright, sunny, warm. Um, it's what you want, isn't it? It's what you want. It's quite funny, when I was shooting in the church earlier, very peaceful just taking in the moment sometimes I just like to step back and have a bit of five minutes meditation drink 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 it was Wendy <laughs> there's not much of a signal here so I can't really call her back at the moment but I will Although the UK can be quite moist in its weather, everyone hates that word moist, I think it's hilarious. But yeah, we, I think we could do with a little bit of rain. No much rain lately. I've said it before, there's something quite unique about the British countryside, especially in summer. It really is. If you're interested in graves of famous people, do check out my friend Paul's uh, channel, Unusual Things. It's absolutely fascinating. Um, and we reconnected at the Bathingstoke Comic Con, which is really cool. We used to do a paranormal radio show. He was the uh, DJ uh, back in 2008, I think it was. Oh my God, Paul's it that long. Um, but yeah, he's got a great channel called Unusual Things, which is much better than this, this channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really interesting. So I'll, I'll link that below.
plane coming over. A bit early for me, but I think it's time for lunch at the Plough in Lye. Let's go. Oh, I'm sitting outside. Cheers all. I don't normally like eating outside, purely about bugs and wasps and bees. Go and find some pollen. But they're always buzzing around when you're eating, but it's not too bad today. And they've got a busy function going on, so I haven't got any rooms inside, which is fine. Just stand here and enjoy the, um, the fresh air. I had to move table because it was reserved for a party. The reserve sign was facing away from me, so I didn't see it. So I was told, quite bluntly, but with a please to uh, uh, reserve, sir. Okay. So I've moved to the road, which is fine. So yet another video from Lye in Surrey Hills or below the Surrey Hills and it's had lunch in the Plough, steak and ale pie, very 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 nice, really delicious and outside as well, so I don't normally eat outside because of wasps, there was a wasp sort of floating about um, but if you enjoyed this little video uh, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment, the normal stuff we do and thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. <laughs>